Johnny here from Artistic Nomads. I've gathered and collected all of these boxes, empty boxes, from things we used as boxes we used as storage and also boxes of that held the things we've purchased over the last several years. So I'm going to show you and we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. Nine, ten. 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32. So during this process, we've been reading this book, Stuffcation, and it talks about all the stuff we have and getting buried under it. These, these boxes are a primary example of how that starts, how we hang on to these things because, oh, someday I may need that, someday I may need that. Oh, I may have to ship it back to the company. Well, these days the company will send you another box to ship it out. It gets really, really frustrating. Um, I can't believe I've held on to these boxes for as long as I have. Let me tell you. This feels really good. One of the primary examples we have in our society of uh, stuff is inside the boxes are the things, the packaging that comes with the purchased items. And all of this stuff was smooshed into the original boxes. This has stuff in it that can't be recycled. This has the little symbol in it, so I'm thinking it's recyclable too. No symbols on these. No. These little plastic bags are recyclable. So I'm telling you what, you do this, you do this with us, you get rid of something that's been feeling like it's burying you. The sense of relief I've been feeling this week is just amazing. If you've got something that you're reducing in your house, share your story with us. Photos, videos, leave comments here on YouTube or comments on our website, artisticnomads.com, radically reducing, hashtag radically reducing. Thanks for watching. I just had glass fly up at me, so we're going to go a little bit more gently.